Welcome back to another update on my air engine. Uh, and welcome to any new subscribers. I hope you'll follow along as I build my six cylinder air motor. Um, I've been working on the double valves for the last few days and I have three of them now that, uh, that are working. But the way the cam thing is made, it just doesn't hold the, the valves open long enough, so I had to come up with a new design on the valves. Uh, this is how the, the valve looks right, or the camshaft anyway, looked right now. And it would um, go around and hold them open, but not near long enough. So. I'll show you how, how it ran and, and so what with the uh, system that I have showing you right there. Well, I've been working on my valves for the last uh, week or so, and I finally have three of them made and installed. And I can see that I'm going to have a problem with balance. I need to come up with a way to, to balance the things. I, I believe it's because of the eccentrics here that that operate the, the valves are where the problem is coming from because the other other stuff should be all balanced. But anyway it, uh, it does run and the valves work pretty good and they don't leak which is one of my major problems that I've been having. And I'll let you see how it, how it runs. It sounds pretty neat, and it is pretty loud. The uh, exhaust comes out of these little holes right on the side here. And the top one is the intake, and the bottom one is the exhaust valve. And it should start in any position, so hopefully that's the case. Balance is not real bad, but it does shake a bit, and I'm sure if I put another eccentric on here and get it to the, a third of the way around, that should pretty well balance it, but until I actually try that, I won't know. But I'm satisfied with how it's, it's running so far. Okay, that was the uh, way the engine ran, and the next thing I did was I decided that I had to have a different cam which would hold the valves open longer. So this was my first modification, and you can see how it was compared to the uh, other valve, or the other camshaft rather and then there was a second cam that I decided I needed to use whenever I tried out that first modification and it just still didn't quite hold it open long enough and also uh, there was a problem with the the way that it came off of the hump at the end of the uh, run and I ended up making a third change on that which added the green part to it to to hold it open just a, a bit longer and go off of that lobe um, softer I guess you might say and those two cams that I modified 
they I just cut those out of wood. They weren't metal. And there were some problems with that being wood that wore some of my uh, push rod caps a little bit. So I need to have those actually made out of metal, and then later on, if everything works out, I will. But uh, for now, this is the way the thing ran with the wooden cams. Today I have all six of the cylinders mounted and hooked up for a test run. Normally I wouldn't run all six at the same time unless you're under a load, but just to try it, I want to do that. So we'll see how it goes here. seemed like it run pretty good but uh, as I said it wore my uh, push rod covers or caps a bit as you can see there uh, part of the problem was that the intake the way the valve is made it doesn't have as much uh, push clearance as the exhaust valve does and the spring was a little bit too tight, which made it really wear fast. So I decreased the length of the spring that pushes the valve closed when it comes off the cam, and that helped somewhat. Um, but anyway, uh, That's just some of the problem that I keep running into and I have to always come up with new ways to uh, compensate for it. Uh, in this update, I'm going to be doing something a little different than I have in the past. I'm going to ask for some input from you guys and it's going to be about the piping that is needed for the uh, air flow going to each one of the cylinders. I want to run it and have some cylinders run and other cylinders not, depending on it. But it's kind of like if you ever tried to do this little puzzle thing about the three houses trying to get water, gas, and electric to each one without crossing any line on the gas or the, the water or the electric. It's in this case, I think it's impossible, but with running air to my air motor, I don't think it'll be impossible. And I will get back with you on that if and when I figure it out myself, but I'd like maybe a little, little help on you. I want to have it with the first valve would run on two cylinders, be number one and number four and then shut that off and run cylinders one, three, and five. And then have a combination of four cylinders with one and four, three and six running it together. And then last, I want to run all six of them. One plus four plus two plus five plus three plus six. So you can run the lines in any combination and you can hook them together any way you want but just so that that when two cylinders run, only two cylinders, and when three, only three cylinders, and when four, only those four would run, one, four, three, and six, and then when six cylinders, all of them run at the same time. So I'd like to see what you guys come up with, if you can, and if so, you can make a 
copy of your uh, diagram and send me a copy at, at airenginereresearch at excite.com and then I will share yours with everybody and see whether we can actually get the thing to run on those cylinders in order to save and conserve air. So until next time I would hope that you keep checking in and see how I'm doing. And until later, thanks and goodbye for today.